Hey guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I want to talk about the new Slaughterhouse album, Fun Factory. Fun Factory is an album that was brought to my attention due to the YouTube comments, a suggestion in the YouTube comments, and I'm very glad that I ended up finding this, as this is actually a pretty excellent record that I didn't necessarily have high expectations for. I really didn't have any expectations at all, but it's actually a pretty great listen overall. Fun Factory is, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, the first full-length studio album from California-based rock slash punk band Slaughterhouse. Ultimately, the first thing that you might notice about Fun Factory is that it's not necessarily the most unique or original sounding record you'll ever hear. There's a lot of different sounds here that have been done by a number of different artists over the decades, whether it's sort of proto-punk kind of sounds, or hard rock mixed with punk kind of sounds, or grunge-ish kind of sounds. It's a variety of sounds, and all of them have been done before, but you know what? It's fine overall, as Fun Factory is an incredible record due to the fact that Slaughterhouse are such talented individuals with a strong sound. This isn't just some garage band that has a lot of influences that you've heard before making some music. This is a really great garage band making music with a lot of influences you've heard before that also happen to play extraordinarily well, if not just as good as said influences. The vocals are consistently vicious, but when the lead singer needs to kind of dial it back a bit, she gladly does. The bass tone especially is absolutely gorgeous and it actually stands out a lot in many different songs, something that can be very rare in this kind of music. The drumming and guitar work are equally as tight, and overall Slaughterhouse are just a very strong act. This especially rings true considering this is a debut album, as most bands take their debut album to just kind of find themselves. And sure, you could definitely argue that Slaughterhouse haven't totally found themselves, as the reason that Fun Factory doesn't completely blow me away is the fact that, like I stated before, there are just a lot of sounds here that have been done a number of times before, and as such, this was not necessarily a predictable record, but just as something that really had no surprise punches to throw outside of a couple songs that were shockingly powerful like 911. Nonetheless, to defy, deny the effectiveness of this record overall would be a very foolish thing, as Slaughterhouse as a band know exactly what they're doing, and they do it with excellent precision and a genu genuine passion for the music. I'm going to give Fun Factory 4 stars out of 5. My one take on this album is that, look, it's not original, it's not going to blow your mind, or at least probably not, but at the same time, it will definitely impress you as the instrumentals are consistently strong, there's not a skippable track on the entire track list, even a couple of shorter songs here or there, and generally speaking, it's an album that you definitely should hear if you are interested in a harder rock music or punk music of any kind. Predicting what the next big band will be is always pretty much impossible as there's so many different factors related to the industry that really are very relevant in that sort of discussion, but if we were just talking about skill and precision in terms of sound and kind of knowing what direction to go in throughout their one record that they have released, Slaughterhouse are definitely the band to keep an eye on. I'm glad I listened to this, and I'm actually disappointed that I didn't hear about it last year, as I would easily consider this one of the best debut records of 2021 that I've personally heard. So again, 4 stars out of 5, and with that being said, that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.